Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will look at how to organize users and folders in Google Tag Manager interface. When it comes to organizing users, imagine a big company with large product marketing team. Now, each member in this team will need the access to Google Tag Manager interface. Using Google Tag Manager interface, we can have either account level or container level permission to these users. We will look into each one of them one by one. Next, when it comes to organizing folders, there is a freedom available to the user. For the purpose of this video, we will look at how to organize folders basis on the analytical tool being used. So let's get started. In this video, we will understand how to manage different users in Google Tag Manager. It is not an uncommon scenario when a product marketing team is using a Google Tag Manager account to manage different marketing campaigns. There will be different roles which will have certain permissions like create a tag, delete or modify a tag, create some other user, etc. User management provides a full-fledged portal for managing the users who are utilizing GTM features. User management is available at two levels, account level and container level. To access user management, click admin from top left menu bar here. Once you click admin, there are two user management option that is account level and container level. Important distinction to note here is if you provide access at an account level, the user will automatically get access to all the containers under that particular account. But if a user is given access to a particular container, the access remains with that container only. Now let us look into the details of user management under container level. Click on this user management button. It will show the available Google accounts which are using the current Google Tag Manager account. So this will be likely user account which you are using and the related permissions. To see how to create new user, click on this red new button. Then you can enter the email of the user that you would like to add to your account and then there will be different permissions associated with this particular user. These permissions will be available only at the container level. First is no access, that is block the user from accessing the container tags. Read, user will be able to read the tags only. No modifications or delete operation can be done. Edit, user can add or modify or delete available tags. Approve. This will be likely with the managers. With approve, user has an elevated permission to approve the tags to live environment. Lastly, publish. All permissions similar to an admin user will be available if the user is given with admin permissions. This was all from the container level permission. Let us go back and look at the account level user management. So under account, click on user management. You will be able to add an account here. You can see the same permission sets here as well. Either you can assign user or admin permissions to the account. And then accordingly, all the containers will be accessible by this particular new user. The same permissions can be seen here. That was all about user management in Google Tag Manager. Now we will see how to organize different tags in folders. Click on folders from left panel. Folders are required especially when you have numerous tags and triggers to handle. For organizing the tags and triggers in these folders, one can use his or her creativity. The folders can be created 
on the basis of different application area or users or maybe the purpose why they are being created. When you click on folders, all the available triggers and tags will be displayed to you. Now in order to organize them, you can create a new folder by clicking on the right top blue button. When you click on new folder, it will ask you for the name for this new folder. Let us provide a sample folder name. Click create. As a result, a new folder will be created with test folder name. Let us move some tags in this folder. Select the tags in the checkbox and then click on the grey move button. It will show the new folder name. Click on that name. As a result, all the tags are now available under the new folder created. In this way, you can use this folder section to organize the tags and triggers in your account. Now we will see how to publish a tag. We have been creating, modifying and debugging the tags in our debugger environment. Till now, we haven't seen the tags live on our blog. To have the tags live on the blog, we need to publish them. We will want to have tags published than to have in preview mode always. Publishing the tag is very simple. Click on this blue submit button at the top right corner of the screen. This will show a dialog box where it will ask you for version name and version description. A version name should be identifiable enough so that you can distinguish different versions. And in version description, you can be as elaborate as possible on the changes or additions of the tag in that particular version. If you scroll down, you will be able to see workspace changes. Workspace changes will have all the changes made in the tags, which are unpublished or they are in preview mode. If you scroll down further, you will be able to see activity history. In activity history, you can get exact understanding of changes or updates that were done in the account since the beginning of time. Now let us provide a version name and version description. Now that you have entered the version name and version description, you are ready to publish. In publish to environment, we will keep it as live. If you have some other environments configured in your account, you will be able to select them from this particular screen. Now click publish. It will take some time to publish and then when all the changes are done, it will show a screen with summary of the publish. So, as you can see, all the triggers and the tags are now available in this version and they are published on your blog.